And then now, so this is this one, um, this is a big one. So talk to us, I guess, about your, your experience playing on the, the U19 Team Canada team. And then as you mentioned, so I just want to get it out there so it's on record. You're still currently only 18. So that means you would have played on the U19, U19 team at what, 17? Yeah, there were some younger girls on it. <laughs> hey, hey, young. that may be the case, but don't sell yourself short. It's a big accomplishment. <laughs> exactly. Not everyone can yeah. say that, you know? Yeah. Um. So honestly, it was a really good experience. It was funny because I was AU and I was with my team and I received an email and they're like, oh, you made the U19 national. I was like, oh. I was so happy and since I was already in the States and we were going to have training camp in the States that's when I went there and um, honestly it was the best experience ever they have so much resources and it's just like we were training we had two a days so we'd wake up breakfast always like COVID test in the morning which was really annoying but gotta do what we gotta do and then we went to Hungary like honestly it's just having all these girls from different provinces, not just Quebec, but you have Ontario, you have British Columbia, you have Nova Scotia, you have everything, you know? So just mm -hmm. us coming together and playing the game we love, it was like a great experience. And in Hungary, playing against these girls, man, they're tough, but it was, it was nice. Well, expand on that, because my next question was just like some notice or notable players that you played with or against. So you, you immediately brought up Hungary. So what, what was, I guess, so different about Hungary that, they, that they're fresh in your mind? Um, honestly, it's when we were there. So we played against, if I remember, we played against Japan. We played against France. We played against Australia. Um, these are tough teams. And the thing that differentiates them from, like, North America is that they're so smart, you know? They do sharp cuts. They do everything fully that it's so to the book that you can't guard it. They're so good, mm. you know, and they're disciplined. So that's one thing that like, it's really, it, it stood out for me. And, um, ooh, I played with Cheyenne. Everybody knows Cheyenne, she tough. I played with Yvonne Ejim. She's going to Gonzaga. She's really good. Like okay. these are some players that really marked me. Yvonne was kind of like a mentor to me. And um, there's actually a girl that I played against on the Mali team. And she actually declared for the WNBA draft. So I don't know how that's gonna work out, but she was good, she was tough. So, yeah. No, that's big. And I mean, especially hearing that you played against someone who's declaring for the for the draft. It's like that's always a way that you can, I guess, you're kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's like it's a good comparison tool. So you could know where you're at. And it's like, OK, she declared for the WNBA. It's like this is where I was compared to her. So this is, these are the things that I know yeah. I need to work on. Or it's like this is I, I know I need to get my game to this level or it could be like, OK, I was when we played against each other. I was already on that level, so like I know where I'm at in that sense. So that's that's those exactly. Guys. For sure. And then um, also, I guess so. What are what were some things that you learned um, from the experience, or like some takeaways? Um, well, like I said, they're super disciplined. So when I came back, you know, like it taught me a lot of things on the court. Um, also, the difference in the cultures. Like I'm a really I'm a person that really likes cultures and like exploring new things. And in Hungary, obviously, the food was different and everything was different. The language, they didn't, they didn't really speak English. So just seeing like that other side. And I mean, Europe is amazing and it got me to travel. So for sure, that makes sense. <clears throat> um, and then like this is another thing. Once again, I just have to preface this by saying I didn't play ball at a like at an extremely high level. Um, but something that I've noticed is just the difference. Um, you touched on it a bit also, of course. The difference between like European ball and like you said North American ball. So, I guess playing playing against them, um, the extreme extremely high IQ, the sharp cuts, like everything being to the books, was that something that you would say like that? I guess the European play style that you took back home to Canada and try to implement in your game. I definitely try to implement it in my game. Like they were more physical, and every time you know those little things in practice when you're like you're running a play or something, that sharp cut is going to, like, that you do in practice, it's what you're going to do in the game. So I try to put it in practice, but it's little things. It's not one big thing. It's just making that sharp cut, making that strong pass and things like that. So just keeping myself reminded of that. Okay. No, that makes sense. And 100%, you practice how you play. So and, and to focus on those little things, that 
I mean, that sharp cut could be the difference in you getting open, you running your defender into a screen and your defender being right on you. So it, of course, makes it makes a huge difference. Yeah.